Hello class, this is um, object-oriented programming. We're going to try to go over this. So As a long-time educator, it is awfully hard for me to blow my own horn. It's one of the dominant forms of programming in the last 15 years. But I'm constantly being asked to share some of my triumphs of the classroom. Uh, the Greek philosopher Plato's notion of ideal forms. Plato has Where to start? There have just been so darn many of them over the years. Platonic idea of what a chair should be and all individual Anyway, here's a little story that just might demonstrate the teaching excellence that I have come to so fully embody. We have three concepts here. Class. A few years ago, I had a lovely young student who was somewhat math challenged. The problem was she didn't fully realize the extent of her problem. I decided that a little bit of carefully calibrated ridicule might just do the trick. State refers to properties. It may seem cruel, but tough love is often the best kind between teacher and student. Done to or by the object. This young woman appears to have blonde hair, and from what I've heard, you people Especially you the people. yeah, you blonde people are just kind of stupid. It's, it's, yeah. Oh my God! It's just, if you they're are. now, what? Have you not heard that stereotype? Yes, I have. Is it true? No. How do you know? What's the square root of sixteen? She, she's a sm eight. Eight. I knew she's that. Smart as a blonde girl. Yeah. All right, let's try another. I'm not that smart. I'm not my hair. Okay, we'll give a brunette the test. What is the square root of 16? Four. Would you? It's not eight. Oh, it is. Wait, but wait. Well, as usual, my instincts were right on the money. That you're trying to make a computer model of. Last week, I saw the student again. And it seems like her relationship with mathematics is now on a much firmer footing. The object instance is a particular... I remember you. Hi. Um, how are you doing? Good. I recently went back to school to get a PhD in mathematics. Wow. I know. Is it, is it a group theory or string theory? Group theory. Very good. That was always one of my favorites. Me too. Okay. Well, I'm awfully happy about her new direction in life, but I have to say, confidentially, just between you and me, of all the branches of mathematics she could have picked, I'm kind of glad she didn't pick number theory. <laughs>